I hit the click. Is that right? Yeah, I hit that too. All right, class. All right, settle down. My name is Dr. Woman, and welcome to Females 101, where we learn everything there is to know about females. Trademark. Did you know, class, that periods can be held in like pee? Yes, Timmy? Dr. Woman, is it true that my balls grow if I don't pee? Very good question, Timmy, and you're absolutely correct. Not peeing does make your balls bigger, so you should not pee if you want to <laughs> increase the size of your balls. <laughs> oh, oh, just kidding. It was me all along. Who would have thunk it? Dear God, that's so awful. <laughs> Well, good evening, ladies, lasses, and lassos. Welcome to the click. You smell absolutely astounding today. And don't let anyone else tell you otherwise. Are you ready for some sweet old education? Who needs university and school when you can watch click meme compilations? <laughs> so anyway, today we're going to do something absolutely beautiful. We're going to look into not how girls work, but with a beautiful twist. Because today we have one of the tools that is very key for modern learning. That is right. Bingo! Oh wait, what is this? Oh, did I accidentally leave up the Cerberus Duck plushie that we're gonna release in the near future? Oh no, unintentional marketing. What a shame. Keep a lookout and, and totally buy it when it comes out. It's so adorable and it's gonna take over the world. So anyway, uh, th th that aside, welcome to Not How Girls Work Bingo. The oldie but the goldie. So of course we start off in the corner. A man wrote this, you know, when someone is like, Ash, a female, I have to confess to the fact that my boobs... And it's so obvious it's... Not a girl who wrote this. Victim blaming. Can't have a wholesome bingo without without victim blaming. Pointless gender wars. Bad anatomy. Ah, oh, yes, indeed. I can't wait to learn everything there is to know about boob bones or something. Twitter alpha males. Naughty facts. Down bad. Fan service. Purity. We can always tell which they can't. Checklists. The wall. Anything that makes me go like this, which is basically like 60% of the posts. Periods? Question mark? Because periods are one of the unsolved mysteries of the universe. Is space infinite? What happened before the Big Bang? What is the meaning of life? How do periods actually work? All the complex unanswered questions about our universe. Uh, anyway, let's get on with it, shall we? We also have bad analogy, which is very hilarious, you know, like, men are like mud and women are like gravel because... <clears throat> uh, friend zoning, something something, kids and family, clock is ticking, odd trad stuff I made this up to get mad about, which is a solid like 60% of posts online now anyway, pickup artistry, age stuff, creeping, made up stats and... Actually, wholesome sparkles, which we probably won't cross out in this godforsaken bingo. Oh, yes, indeed. So just sit back, relax, grab some snacks, and feel your butt grow. Now sponsored by Clicks Butt Snacks. Make your butt grow 10%. No, I'm, I'm kidding. That would be a wild sponsor, wouldn't it? Anyway, let's, <laughs> let's get on with the video. <laughs> Sydney Sweeney making a, a Thanos snap in The Woke. Oh my god, I turned it to dust! Who photoshopped this cursed version of Sydney as a booby Thanos? Oh my god. I actually did some digging regarding memes like this, and from what I can tell, Sydney hasn't actually said or done anything that is related to this. The only thing she has done is, like, have a pair of bobs, and parts of the internet just lost their mind and started making, like, Thanos memes about it. I don't know. It's so weird, man. A picture moments after Kennedy was killed. Notice what his loving wife is doing, and what the man is doing. There is a big difference between male and female instincts. Look, She's like walking over the car and the security guard is running over. Um, kind of a stretch here. The agent is trained specifically for moments like these. Why aren't women signed up to be agents? Think about it. Is this just a poorly disguised argument to us why we should all just be gay? I, I don't think that's where they're going with it, but, but that kind of feels like the vibe, doesn't it? She wasn't running away. She was trying to get the piece of his skull that was blown off, as confirmed by Clint Hill, the Secret Service agent in this photo. I would say that's pretty loving to me, especially given the shock she was in and the circumstances of it all. I'ma be honest, 
Most people, when bullets are fired at their loved ones in their vicinity, aren't gonna act like super rational and trained. <laughs> I think a reasonable side tangent to this is that it's just pointless gender wars, because most people aren't gonna act super rational and like some hyper-trained winter soldiers when people start shooting at your loved ones. Like, most of us aren't used to it, and unless you have been in a situation like this, you don't actually know how you would act. Something to think about. Anyway, I think this fits pretty well on the bungo card, doesn't it? So anyway, I would pop this bad boy right under pointless gender war. <laughs> Look at this woman acting a certain way while her loved ones are being shot at, and then also like misrepresenting the whole situation. You didn't even do the basic Google search of what actually happened. <laughs> Fam. Fam. I swear to God, the internet nowadays is like 40% misinformed rage bait and 60% mobile game ads. That's like the internet experience nowadays. Goody. Next shark. New Jersey man stabbed in the head protecting friend from violent ex-boyfriend. <laughs> she probably still friend zoned him. Focus on yourself, king. Wait a second, wait a second. The insinuation here is absolutely wild. It says that we should never be there for each other unless there is a promise of intimacy. That's pretty wild, yo. That's really wild. I, I don't even know what this would fall on. I'm just gonna pop it under an emoji for a good measure. <laughs> that is such a weird take. Who has this takeaway from a story like this? Craigslist, IA, and surrounding areas. Hot tub nightly rental. Women only. Bring your group of girlfriends for a night of peace and tranquility. Fits three to four very nicely. 100% private and secure. Apart from probably the person's own cameras, I suppose. But anyway. Do what you want as you want. As little clothing as you want allowed. Smiley emoji. In the town, Marion, but no one else is around. A quiet 20 acre piece of land. Bring your tunes and booze and have fun. Gated entry chemicals check daily. No, guys! No fatties, etc. <laughs> yes, indeed. Just bring your, bring your nude female friend. 100% private and secure. I sincerely doubt that with how willing this person is to have people undress in their backyard. How many cameras did this person plant around this pool? I'm starting to wonder if they even have cameras like inside of the pool. Anyway, speaking of things inside of pools, we have a bingo card today. Isn't that beautiful? I would just say this is like some good old creeping. This is just some good old solid creeping. Yes, indeed. I have this bubble bath pool at my place that totally isn't rigged with cameras. How about you and your little friends just come over and undress here in front of this totally not camera staged environment? <laughs> Craigslist, man. <laughs> God damn. So here's a cute little wholesome picture of a family and... Wait, is this just AI generated? Some parts of the background look really weird. I'm not sure if this is AI or not, actually. It's a bit blurry. Anyway, men's testosterone levels drop when they secure stable, committed partners, and again when they have kids. When you see a jacked guy in his mid-30s, you're looking at someone whose hormones are responding to a failure scenario. Failure to secure a stable partner plus reproduce. Thread. Wait, wait a second, are, are we having like gym life hacks, which is like, you should fail at everything in life, because then your body will become so desperate, you'll develop a six pack. Holy, I've seen some pseudoscientific stuff on Twitter, but this takes some sort of sh** take. What the hell is this? And you know, I'm just willing to bet that if you actually got into an argument with this person, they would find some kind of study that finds like, parents with small kids are less likely to spend a lot of time at the gym or something like that. Which of course makes sense because you're busy taking care of kids. It doesn't mean that your hormones are responding to a crisis scenario and therefore you get so incredibly ripped. Usually crisis scenarios, especially for your mental health and that kind of stuff, affects you very negatively physically as well. They are very connected. This is like not even just made up. It's like literally the opposite. This is pretty bad, fam. Does this like, does this just fall under bad men's anatomy? I think this would fall under bad men's anatomy. I'm gonna put this under Twitter alpha male because that's basically what it is. This is such a weird problem. Post, man. It's such a weird post. I am anti-LGBT. <laughs> I dare someone to debate me in Discord VC. Who wants to be defeated in an LGP debate on Discord VC? No one cares. I care, <laughs> smiley. Yeah, but you're no one. Oh, here's their comment history. Let's check. I am a trad Catholic king and pro-LGBT debunker. <laughs> Wait, what does LGBT debunker mean? It's like, oh, did you know that the gays aren't real? 
Is that what you mean? I would defeat the LGBT in a Discord VC debate. <laughs> this is either a really quirky troll or it's the most chronically online sh I've ever seen in my life. Who wants to be defeated in an LGBT debate? Who wants to be defeated in an LGBT debate on Discord? I'm anti-LGBT, I dare someone to debate me. Just saying, if you want to be defeated, here's the link. Is this just someone looking for some kind of kinks or something? It's like, ha, huh, do you have a humiliation kinks specifically in Discord debate context? <laughs> I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that's that's pretty niche. Does this even fall under anything on the... Uh, do, do I have a square that just says, like, Lemau? <laughs> Is that a thing? I would say this fall under actually... No, it doesn't. It's not actually wholesome. Stop. Stop. Cease. Next pose, please. Thank you. Jerry, 73. I am old, ugly, and in the mood for naughties. And I love eating smooth, young... Personal parts. My favorite is 69. Please, Terry. Terry, please. Although I also love cowgirl because I get to maul those gorgeous bobs. Also, I love doing it puppy style. Terry, Terry, is this also how you speak on like, on like family Thanksgiving get togethers? Oh, yes, everyone. Let me tell you about that 69 I did. That Terry, Terry, you know what gooning is? You know what gooning is, Terry? God, Google! Oh, this is also like on Tinder. <laughs> this is... <laughs> well, it doesn't surprise me that much, to be honest, with the quality of Tinder nowadays. Does this even belong anywhere? I mean, a man wrote this, is very obvious, but it's not really what the point is for, right? It's when someone pretends to be like a wham and, and like and like talking about it that way. I don't think this really fits... I'm just gonna put this on the emoji, because this is wild. I don't even know what my reaction would be if I found this on Tinder, man. Oh my god. Dudes, <laughs> she used to be bad in high school. <laughs> she fell off. The dude. <laughs> <laughs> this is just Twitter discourse in a nutshell, isn't it? R slash back in their prime has been banned from Reddit. This subreddit was banned due to being unmoderated. If you would like to take it over, please make a post in r slash reddit requests. Um, what was this sub about? Never heard about it. Basically, pictures of underage celebrities and eh, talking about what they would do to the... Jesus freaking... That is... Oh my... Okay, well, I'm just gonna pop this under, like, some, some age stuff and creeping. Good stuff. You get you get a, a double whammy on the bingo. That 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 is that is wild. That is wild. A wife should cook for her husband. You sexist scum! Honey, I am home. Hola, mi amor. I didn't know if you wanted tamales or more, so I made out of both. I don't know why she turned Italian there for a second, but it is what it is. So anyway, <laughs> I would pop this under, <laughs> under this little bit. Where did I put it? Where did I put it? I made this up to get There it is. I made this up to get mad about. <laughs> ah, yes, that situation where you go home to your two girlfriends and one calls you a sexist scum and the other one cooks food for you. Those situations that happen so often that you have to make memes about it. I see how it is. Milady 101, how to pick up the waitress. Amount $128, tip 1000. <laughs> Beautiful nips, princess, call me, my number is here. The master at gentleman. Oh dear god. This confuses me so much because if you have like, imagine like a three-dimensional scale, right? And one part is like harassment, the other one is like sugar daddyism, and the other one is like trying to recruit, you know, someone for very specific purposes, that kind of thing, because they literally call themselves the master. I'm not sure if doing this with like receipts in a restaurant is the way to do it though. But I mean, as long as the person getting a tip isn't complaining, I, I suppose it's fine. A free 1000 bucks, heck yeah. I don't even know what I would put this under, man. Would I put this maybe like under down bad? Like if you try to recruit people to like your little, little dungeon service or whatever with receipts in restaurants, I'm just gonna put it on a down bad. That seems, that seems about right for this one. <laughs> I watch One Piece for the character development. The character development. Episode 5, episode 155, episode 380, and episode 550. Ah, oh, yes, indeed. Look at those personalities developing. Jesus, Jesus Christ. This is like when animators figure out that fan service sells. Oh, wait, I have a bingo square for that. I have a fan service on the bingo. Look at that. Oh, isn't that beautiful? Isn't that absolutely gorgeous? Heck yes. 
Okay, here's a picture of an abdomen, and it says, Pathetic, harder, deeper, is that all? More, that's the spot, further, and penetrated, <clears throat> which is basically like the lower portion of your lungs, essentially. You hear that, gentlemen? Unless your private parts is like literally a meter and a half long, and you literally go <laughs> into the lungs, which I think if that's what you do, you're gonna have some other medical issues after the fact. But if you don't do that, then it's just pathetic. <laughs> All right, you know what? I'm gonna put this right under, like, naughty facts. Because <laughs> this is so freaking wild. I can't tell if posts like these are just satire based on, like, you know, adult cartoon films, or if someone actually believes this. Maybe it's a bit 50-50. I think it's a bit 50-50. Who knows what is satire online anymore and what isn't? It's a bit of a coin flip, isn't it? Oh, yes, indeed. Go deep into my... Heckin' lungs, senpai. Mm, my favorite spot. I love being tickled in the lungs. F**k. Oh, husband, your post too much racial slurring. Get fired from job. Now we're homeless. Is this an AI-generated picture of what are these memes, man? The future of the internet is bright. In a couple of years, it's just gonna be AI-generated memes that are, like, absolutely nonsensical. My cousin is a birch. 20 years ago, when she was 14, I was 17, she knew I couldn't help my insult dumb. One time I had to stay with her for two weeks, and I wasted a lot of time chasing her to get inside her pants. I even asked her, but she was a birch and told mom. So you were chasing your cousin around as a 17-year-old, and she was... 14 and you think back on this even 20 years ago i'm g honestly i'm gonna go out on a limb and say that this post is kind of likely fake because 20 years ago i don't remember anyone using this kind of terminology so unless they got like the years wrong in their post or something this seems like something really really baity and fake honestly wait do i have anything on the bingo card for like obvious rage bait hold on is this like oh man no i don't you know what? This one we've had in a video before, so I'm gonna replace this one <laughs> with obvious rage bait. But click, you can't just change your bingo card as you go along. Oh, can't I? <laughs> I am in control here. Obvious rage bait. Heck yeah, baby. I'm so glad that we can do this bingo together. Wholesome vibes. I need her so bad. 13 candles on that cake. What game companies think gamers want? Look at this girl with a sword. What gamers actually want? Look at this girl with, with a sword. Is that Merica from Elden Ring? But with like bazonkas that make up half the body mass. Oh my god. I'ma be honest, fam. I think you can just probably have both. Like, if you wanna download the game just for, like, the eye candy aspect, I think you can. Or just go ham with, like, heckin' Skyrim mods or something. Like, it's, it's a pretty vast ocean of various mods to mod your game however you want. If you want, like, every character to go around, like, booby furries or whatever, you can do that. I, I think stuff like this kind of falls into the same category as, like, adult content, you know? Just consuming it in of itself is something that a lot of people do, but it's when you do it ex excessively and you kind of start losing touch with reality or reasonable expectation or how bodies actually do look or how relationships are supposed to work for example or how flirting and dating works etc that's when it goes astray and it becomes a problem for you and possibly for people around you as well because these expectations are projected on other people that you want to interact with so I think stuff like this is like, you can probably have both. You can have like realistic games, you can have just freaking eye candy games if you want to. I, I don't think they specifically cancel each other out or anything, but my advice is like, a dude would be like, don't, don't go like, you know, adult film brain on the whole thing, because over excessively consuming something is usually not good for your mental state. But man, I did not expect to see like curvified <laughs> freaking America from Elden Ring today. This was uh, this was a bit of a surprise. Anyway, let's go into this one. Pops right in the fan service, doesn't it? <laughs> Imagine how many issues she's gonna have with her back. Oh my god, it's painful just to look at it. Jesus Christ. I will never forgive the Simpsons for giving Lisa two hot girlfriends, but then having her settle with marrying Millhouse. Look at this Simpson cartoon. Here she is with two hot women and their Millhouse. Oh, but it gets even juicier. Let's scroll into the comments. I can hear you screaming there in the back like, No, click, please, no. But we are here because we are masochists. It's because 
which is misspelled. She been ran through and had to Seattle <laughs> with basic sounds like a typical early to mid 30s woman that couldn't make up her mind in her 20s after her high school sweetheart. She had to Seattle. Oh no, she had to move to Seattle. Condolences. Ah. Congrats on becoming a dad. Hope you don't pass down these Andrew Tate level issues. I'm gonna be honest, fam. I think if you sit and watch old Simpson episode and you start going on tangents about women in their 20s and 30s being ran through and having to Seattle, I, <laughs> I, I think you're a bit down the rabbit hole. I'm gonna be honest. Who does this? Who watches the Simpson episode? And this is the tangent their mind goes in. Holy shit. Okay, what, what would this even fall under, man? What would this, like, some kind of purity thing? Because it's like, oh my god, look how Lisa Simpson spent her 20s. <laughs> and then there's like, the, the, I'm gonna put this under, like, purity and also all the trad stuff. It's really weird, man. It's also kind of clock is ticking, but I'm gonna save that one. I'm gonna save that one. We're really close to a few bingos, though. Look at this. Hell yeah. Men, which do you prefer? The aristocratic elegance of the small bobbed whammon or the Nietzschean pro nazis pro beauty large bobbed whammon? So here are two actresses just rocking a couple of dresses, and apparently th this is the breakdown analysis. I have never in my life seen someone talk about, like, woman features as Nietzschean. <laughs> what does that have to do with anything? They're just there, in a dress. Is this AI generated? I don't even know what even for. I don't even know what to put this under, man. We just put, actually, hold up. No, listen, I'm gonna put this under emoji. Feels pretty fitty. I, I don't know what else to put this under, man. This is absolutely wild. I don't, I don't even know what genre of unhinged post this is. That's how far outside of it it falls. Snow bunnies are starting to have black bodies with less attitude emoji. And here is a girl taking a selfie or something. I never thought I would read a sentence like this in my entire life. I am very uncomfortable, but I will try to disperse that discomfort with bingo. What what could we possibly put this under? Bad anatomy, maybe? I'm gonna put this under some bad anatomy for good measure, because I want to move away from this post as fast as possible. Amount of work required to look good. Women, nothing. Just don't eat like a freaking hippo every single day. Men, years of hard work at the gym many times a week, a strict diet with enough proteins and little fats and sugars. Okay, okay, first off, this is totally just pulled out of someone's butt. Maybe that's what they're into. But secondly, these pictures aren't comparable at all. One is a random picture on the beach of someone who's obviously in good shape, and the other one is a very, like, staged modeling photo where the person in question has probably spent a good few weeks on low carbs and then even dehydrated before the actual photo shoots to make the muscle more visible. These are completely different things. If you wanted to actually make a comparison of this, you would pick like a model slash bodybuilder man and a model slash bodybuilder woman in the same context, both hyping up for like a contest or something like that. This is just not comparable in the least and the meme is very silly. Women who get upset at men for dating younger women are female incels. What do we mean about younger women here? This is like, uh, this is a very undefined thing. I think the average age gap in relationship nowadays is like two or three years. It's something like that. So like the whole age argument I see online isn't really rooted in reality. Like, of course, on occasion you will see some, I don't know, actor or something dating someone with a big age gap or something. But this isn't the norm in like the general dating market. The average age gap is like a couple of years. So these kind of like outrage memes are just a little bit too chronically online to be accurate IRL. Oh, can I pop this under like, I can sort of pop this under, it's not really, wait, 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 made up stats. It's not like specifically saying made up stats, but it's talking about it as if, as if it is something it isn't. Selena Gomez looks stunning in new photos. Her Mexican clock is ticking. What is a Mexican clock? Her eggs are begging to be fertilized. I'ma be honest, fam. <laughs> Who sits on Twitter talking about Mexican clocks and talking about another person who you have nothing to do with <laughs> and how their eggs are begging to be fertilized? <laughs> oh my god, how are these people socialized into society? It's absolutely wild. They weren't even raised by wolves. Like, what are they even raised? This is insane. <gasps> but I have a bingo square for this. Oh my god, I have clock is ticking. Isn't that beautiful? We have a bingo! Oh! 
We have our first bingo baby. Heck yeah, we have pointless gender war. We have fan service. We have emoji. We have clock is ticking. And we have some good old creeping. Wow, isn't that wholesome? Just makes me feel better already, doesn't it? What a beautiful world it could be. <laughs> yes, but teachers are giving them tampons instead of pads and making that decision for them. We're going to have a whole generation of women that are worn out before they even give birth. Save something for marriage, just one thing. Oh yes indeed, that, that good old take that tampons are like adult toys, basically. You, sh you should just read Basic Anatomy. I thought they did this stuff in school. I mean, God, we learned about like tampons and shite when we were like... 10 or something. Bruh. Ooh, but I have bingo for this. I have, I have period question mark. You see, I told you this was one of the unsolved mysteries of the universe alongside black holes and beginning of time. But anyway, this means we have another bingo. We have bad anatomy. We have purity. We have period question mark, odd trad stuff and made up stats. Oh my God, that's so beautiful. We, we almost have a diagonal bingo, another one. We almost have two diagonal bingos. Wow, this is going so well. What an achievement, isn't it? Hannah Baron, what do y'all notice? Look at this, look at this person posting, yeah, on the countryside, heck yeah. And there's a reply saying, um, this? And circling on the pants, where there's like a slight bulge. <laughs> Have these people ever seen another person? Like, out in the wild? I don't think so. But this is very much going into the territory, like, oh my god, they're secretly a man or something. It's like this one. We can always tell, which surprisingly it seems like they actually never can. But anyway, we have ourselves another bingo. Isn't that just... Well, it's not beautiful, but it's something. I might get smacked for sharing this. Lol, look at this. It's a bunch of women looking at a blueprint, and it's a sandwich. <laughs> get, it? get it? Because because the women are making the sandwich. You know, it looks like they're, they're like serious engineers or something, but in reality, all they still do is sandwiches. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man! 2012 called. They want their jokes back. Anyway, so uh, so let's let's see. Do we do we have anything like just crappy jokes? No, I don't think so. I don't think so. Sadly, sorry, your post wasn't good enough to make it to the bingo card. Some girl about to put this in r slash not how girls work. Wait, people are actually arguing about this in the comments. There is a subreddit for that. As a guy, I get minus 100 votes every time I comment. Well, I would argue it completely depends on what you comment as, I suppose. I'm not sure if it has that much to do with you being a guy. It's probably because you post really sh memes about engineering girls building sandwiches. Jesus Christ, dude. Wondering how I'm 32 with no kids, no house? Oh, because this was my 20s. That looks pretty heckin' wild. That looks quite cool. I love kayaking and stuff, it's so badass. Expired now! 4,000 likes. I mean, Instagram comments are notoriously quite toxic and, like, tries to be sassy, but, but in all the wrong ways. This is pretty wild, though. Can you imagine just posting about, like, your sport? Oh, wait, this is TikTok. My correction, TikTok comments. But they're usually on equal footing with Instagram comments. Can you imagine that, though? Seeking out someone that's talking about, like, I was into, like, this this pretty intense sport in my 20s, and that's that's why I haven't done much else yet. And somebody says, you're expired. You know what is so funny about this? Right now, the average age for having your first kid in Sweden is, like, 30 point seven years or something like that. And that is the average, meaning that half the people are older than that when they have their first kid. So people like this are just so wild. They think that everyone should have kids when they're like 18 or something. I just don't get it. You forgot to mention how many abortions you had. They're just posting about a sport they do. What does their like intimate life and medical history have to do with them kayaking? 500 likes. <laughs> 500 people are like, yeah, this, this is the relevant topic on this post about kayaking. Because probably you did not have any male prospects that were interested in marrying. You, uh, so you coped by traveling and having an eat, pray, love life. I mean, it's also like the fact that not everyone even wants kids, you know? I think that's actually a problem for both men and women nowadays, that a lot of people find themselves disenfranchised because housing prices are through the roof, living costs are so expensive, salaries aren't really keeping up. So, at least for me, one thing that I realized, and a lot of my friends echo as well, is the frustration of when we were growing up, we always had this thing told to us by our parents and our surrounding that, like, if you study hard, get decent grades, go get a degree, you're gonna have a house by 30 and, you know, everything is gonna be fine and dandy. And once we got there, it just wasn't true anymore. Um, and I think that's something that a lot of people tangle with, like, the next step in life is just such an incredible reach. 
I still have some friends that manage to get, for example, a decent house or kids and that kind of stuff, but it's not the same normalization as it used to be. And I think it's due to multiple factors, but you know, it also leads to some people simply choosing to not have kids because it's not affordable. And you know, if you live in a one room apartment, like where are you gonna fit a bunch of kids? Well, 304 has been around in our 20s. Nobody wants a woman with more miles than Spirit Airlines. God damn, the amount of assumptions in these comments are wild. They're kayaking. What are you talking about? Are you talking about kayaking miles? Oh my god. Houston expired for show. The person making this comment is most likely 13. So who pays for all that while you're out not working? What do you mean? I know many friends that spent like a couple years working a lot of hours and then like spent a couple years traveling or it's a seasonal thing. One thing I knew one person doing, for example, was they worked on an oil rig and this was a seasonal thing. So they worked there for like four months a year, but got paid a lot because you're away from home, you're working overtime and all that kind of stuff. And then they just partied and sported around and messed around for the rest like eight months of the year. Uh, so that was their lifestyle for like a solid five years. So there are ways to like you know, do stuff like this and live life in alternate ways. Everything isn't as linear as, as it may seem. You do realize you could have done this with kids, right? This just sounds like you're coping. <laughs> Go kayaking with babies? <laughs> I, I, I don't know, fam. I would probably recommend against it. 12 years of fun for 50 years of regret. I'm not saying you can't enjoy life, but what I'm saying is that finding a good man should be high on the priority list. Find what if she doesn't even like men? What about that? Finding a good woman is high. I don't get these people because they're so obsessed with like judging others. It's wild. Why do you care if this random woman is like, I'm gonna do sports and travel the world. I'm not really interested in having a family. Why do you care? Why do you give a shit? Honestly, I think that's sort of where I land when you start having problems with people that have different opinions than you. Because I personally don't really care that much if someone doesn't agree with me on everything or if they have a different idea of how they want to live life or something. If you, for example, want a traditional constellation in a relationship and both parties are in on it, then go for it. I mean, if it makes everyone happy, just, just go for it. That sounds perfectly reasonable. If you don't want to have a family and you want to spend your life doing something else, then go for that too. Like, it doesn't affect me in the least. Why would I, why would I be so bothered by it? But when I do have a problem is when people like this, who have a different idea of what life should look like, but they're so insistent that everyone has to follow their formula. This is no longer just like agreeing to live and let live. This is like weirdly controlling behavior regarding strangers you're never even going to meet. It's the same kind of people that are so upset about people being gay and stuff. It's like, why, why do you care? Do you have nothing to worry about in your own life. <laughs> Dear God. That's your opinion of happiness, though. That's not everyone else's view of it. No right or wrong way. Hey, they got ratioed. A little bit of hope in humanity. Booyah, baby. Okay, I'm gonna pop this under, like, odd trad stuff for sure. Like, being into traditional stuff isn't necessarily a bad thing, but when you try to control everything around you and strangers and criticize everyone else's life choice, I don't know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna conclude that you're a butthole. I don't believe women actually enjoy the adult times. Yes, I said it. I don't believe it. Why would you voluntarily want to put yourself in such a vulnerable position being dominated by a man? Being... Having having things done to you stabbed in the vajuj. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. This just sounds like you yourself aren't interested with doing something with a man. So then you can't imagine that someone else would, even if they're into men. This is such a weird opinion. I just don't get it. And most of women don't even reach the zenith of experience from from naughties. Like, if you are in the mood, just do the self naughties. <laughs> Lemao. I'm not even gonna mention all the risks women have from having naughties, like STDs and prego stuff. I mean, that, that goes for most people doing intimate activities, though, not, not gonna lie, fam. You know, it takes two to tango, and, and STDs can tango one way or another. I feel like there is some sort of conspiracy going on in the world where all the women just pretend to like naughties for whatever reason, and probably so their SO doesn't cheat with them, lol. But, but, but whoa, 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 wait, wait a second, why would they cheat though if they don't enjoy it in the first place? Let's force myself to do this thing with my partner I don't like, so the partner that doesn't like it wouldn't do the thing they don't like with someone else. <laughs> what? <laughs> Okay, so anyway, uh, I'm gonna put this under, under like, under like fake naughty facts, because that is just absolutely wild. 
I'm gonna go out on the limb here and say that if you go on Reddit and start posting about like how there must be a conspiracy because women never enjoy themselves in intimacy, I think maybe it's time to start communicating with your partner instead. Maybe it has to do with communication and how you vibe with your partner instead of, I don't know, a worldwide conspiracy involving four billion people. <laughs> One of them seems a bit more likely than the other, no? Are most married men attracted to teen girls? Ask r slash marriage. Oh, this is posted by, by a lady, apparently. My husband, 42, of 10 years, will comment on young ladies we see out and about. He says things like, Wow, look at that butt! Or check out that body! Or do you think she's legal? This is, this is an open conversation that your alleged husband has with you on a regular basis. Man, look at that taxi! Even if the other uh, woman in question was of like similar age or whatever, it's still heckin' wild to do this <laughs> with your partner. <laughs> I find it repulsive. Is this normal? It is normal to find it repulsive, yes indeed. I would say it's pretty normal, as it's pretty normal for older women to detest the fact. I am a 37-year-old male. It's more often than not young women that immediately catch my eye. Some of the 18 to 20-year-old girls in my gym are just genetic freaks. It's crazy hot. They just set all my alarms off. Incredible bods, gorgeous faces, and oozing of this naughty confidence that women in their 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s just don't have. It is just the beauty of youth. There is a 19-year-old girl at my work that has told other people in my workplace that I'm a DILF and that if I was single she'd try to sleep with me. That's a massive ego stroke. I'm gonna be honest fam, I don't believe a single word about what I'm just reading. Um, I don't even believe that the first person posting is <laughs> it's actually like a wife. That sounds like someone that is inserting themselves in their shoes because they were making these sort of comments and someone in their vicinity was like, hey, bro, that's heckin' weird. And then they made this post to, like, gauge opinion about it and see if they should double down. Anyway, speaking of which, I'm gonna put this under a man wrote this. Definitely. I'm not buying any of this. <laughs> we almost oh, no, we don't have a bingo. It was so close. Oh my god, if we just had a bit of... Sweet old victim blaming or some actually wholesome, we would have had a bingo. Gosh darn it, what a shame. Do you see the difference? Are you freaking kidding me? So here is a young lady with acne and a young man with acne. They both have a pretty decent chunk of engagement, and here if we look at the comments, it says, Someone said cheese pizza. Is that hard to use Neutrogena acne cream or at least wash your face every morning? I'ma be honest, as someone who had a crap load of acne between the ages roughly 17 to 19, just washing your face doesn't magically remove all the hormones that is making you have that kind of acne. Although, in my experience, I did buy one of those acne creams and it did help a lot. It basically removed 90% of my acne in the span of a couple of months. So if you are struggling with acne, there are products that probably work. I think it varies a lot from person to person, like I can only speak from my own experience, but if you're struggling with acne, and uh, you want to like get rid of it or at least reduce it, there are products that can help. I know, for example, one of my mistakes was waiting way too long with it. I thought legitimately just washing my face more would cure the whole thing, so to say. But of course it didn't. Like washing your face helps a bit. And when you're an adult, you know, washing your face helps because then it's not as hormone based. It's more about, you know, oily skin perhaps. But when you're at this age, getting a cream specifically for acne can really help. So if you're struggling with that and if you're insecure about it and if you want to do something about it, you can consult a doctor, you can Google about it. Uh, for me, I was lucky. Like the first cream I got helped a lot. Um, so, so there are ways to deal with this. Y'all will guess up anybody on God. Uh, acne. Two, 2,000 likes. 2,000 people were like, yeah, we better point out the acne. That's, that seems productive. And then on the boy comments, we have eyes. Also, I get Dubai vibes. Anyone else thinks acne is hot? Acne, but not in a bad way. I'm sorry if it sounds rude. You're still cute. I am this close to shaving it off. Literally, acne is hot. I don't care what anyone else says. Eh, I mean, I've seen people of both genders getting crap for having acne. Maybe it's more of a thing if you're a girl because there's more pressure about skin and smoothness and skincare routines and that kind of stuff. So I can imagine it's pointed out more in that case. But anyone can struggle with acne. And if you are struggling with it and you feel like it's something you want to do something about, uh, see a doctor about it. There are plenty of products about these kind of things. I had friends of mine that had way worse acne than I did as well, that even was on their bodies and like a lot on their backs and stuff. And they had uh, other sorts of medication, creams, even pills and stuff that helped balance it out. So there is products that can help with this kind of stuff if you're struggling with it. 
When I was a freshman, my sister was in 8th grade. There was a boy in two of her periods who would ask her out every single day, 3rd and 7th period if I remember correctly. All day during 3rd and 7th, she would repeatedly tell him no. She didn't beat around the bush, she didn't lie and say she was taken, she just said no. One day in 3rd period, after being rejected several times, he said, I have a gun in my locker. If you don't say yes, I'm going to pew pew you in 7th. That is absolutely wild. She refused again, but right after class she went to the principal office and told them what happened. They searched his locker and did find a pew pew in his backpack. When he was arrested, some of my sister's friends, some female even, told her that she was selfish for saying no so many times. Okay, I know this is an alien concept to a lot of people, but you're allowed to say no to anyone for any reason and you don't have to specify it. You don't owe anyone an explanation. It can be as simple as, I am not physically attracted to this person, and that is enough to tell them no. And you don't have to write a dissertation to explain to the world why you don't want to date a specific person. You are entitled to say no to someone or break up with someone for any reason that you see fit and you don't have to explain it either. If you get a weird vibe from someone or simply aren't interested, you are allowed to move away from them without explaining or justifying it to the whole world. That because of her, the entire school was in jeopardy. Because of her. Maybe it's because of the dude that threatened to do something bad. Maybe that's why the school is at risk. No, I, I would say that if you're telling someone go out with me, or I will do this horrific deed, maybe they are the problem? You know, just a, just, just a wild hypothesis? That it wouldn't have killed her to say yes and give it a try, you know, apart from the fact that she literally have her life threatened by the dude. It wouldn't kill you. I don't know, fam. It very likely could have. But because she was so mean to him, he lost his temper. Oh yeah, look at that poor boy who had his temper tantrum and just threatened to murder people because of it. Yeah. Yeah, nah. Many of her male friends say it was girls like her that made all women seem like pee-pee teases. Alright, I'ma pop this one right under victim blaming. This is just awful. And we, that means we have a little bingo. We have a man wrote this victim blaming, pointless gender war, bad anatomy, and Twitter alpha male. Woo! And for those people that were saying this girl was like being a tease or whatever, as a completely unrelated side tangent to that, Yes, there are people in the world that will be manipulative, that will lead you on, or they play games, or for example, they have partners on the side and being cheaty and not being honest with it. These people absolutely do exist, but that has nothing to do with this situation right here. This girl was not manipulating anyone, they were not playing games, they were not leading someone on, they were not being dishonest about their relations or anything. They simply said no because they weren't interested. That is not playing games, that is not being manipulative, that is not leading someone on, and that should never be a reason to push someone so far they are threatening to commit horrific acts of violence. Jesus Christ, all she did was say no. That's it. There is nothing more to it. God damn. You know, you know, it's gonna be the victim blaming is already crossed in, but I'm gonna give this one a little emoji as well, just for, for good measure, because, oh dear god. Since females started making a list about what's sassy for enbros, I'ma make one for masculine women. So here we have a list getting back at those females. Let's look into it together, shall we, fellow alpha males? Number one, drinking beer. Never met a woman who likes beer too farting and making a noise. <laughs> Three, driving with one hand. That's one of those disgustingly masculine things. Ah, oh. four, smoking a blunt by yourself. Five, drinking without a straw, saying "ayo," being from New York. <laughs> what? What? Sitting with your legs open, going to clubs. Going to clubs is inherently. Ma Don't you want other girls at the club? Like, like, I I'm, I'm sorry, but assuming this person is a straight man, don't you go to the club partially for the reason to potentially meet women? But are you asking women to not go to the club? Do you just want... What? I think you're looking for another type of club, my dude. 10. Don't know how to twerk. 11. Not looking both ways before crossing the street. 12. Favorite color black. Snoring, falling, doing more than 20 push-ups. <laughs> Wait, this is a Okay. Pumping your own gas. Re literally refueling your own car is okay saying bruh wearing training bras big feet if she drive a sports car if she got locks i don't even know what that is listen oh like lo in her hair like lock no it's not spelled that way what 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 is that smoking cigars chin hair wearing af1s taking your son to the barbershop hey, just, 
What is it? It's 98 points! This person sat for like literally, I don't know how many hours, and wrote this list and came up with everything they could think of. 98 points! They spent like an entire Saturday doing this. Saying, I got it when it's time to pay for things. I'm gonna be honest, it's, it's pretty sweet from someone you're dating or your partner to be like, No, this is my treat. That's pretty nice. Like, it doesn't matter if everything is like 50-50 in that way, but like, the gesture is really nice. You know, I think everyone appreciates those kind of gestures from time to time. It's just nice. This list is so stupid. Girls shouldn't be at clubs, and girls should never treat me to things. It sounds like you're just writing your own misery book. But I do have some bungo for digit checklists. I have this hundred thing list that is something I made up that women can't do that, you know, a lot of these things would just make the relationship nicer to be in, you know? Oh, but I guess it's masculine to suffer. So, so in that sense, I, I totally get where he's coming from. Oh no, it's this, this post again. The aristocratic elegance of the small Bob DeWaman. What? Can we do a post about men with small babies? Jesus Christ. Ah. Uh. This is absolutely- I mean, that kind of goes into, like, pointless gender war, I suppose. A little bit inching into that fact. But this- oh my god, it's so wild. It's so wild, man. I can't believe people like this are just trying to hide their perviness by trying to sound smart on Twitter. If I use this big word like aristocratic and Nietzschean or some sh I, I, I will be seen as an intellectual and not someone just staring at celebrity boobs all day. Oh, yes. Do you often trust a woman to not self prego herself when getting a hold of your splooshies? Does it ever cross your mind that someone you're hooking up with, or even just someone who gets in contact with your sploosh, might be wanting to get prego? I'ma be honest, stuff like this have happened to people, you know, baby trapping and stuff. But you can take measures if you are that worried. You can have a vasectomy, for example, if this is a real concern and you never want kids. I know that stuff like this can happen to, for example, really famous and rich athletes and stuff. But that also attracts attracts a very specific sort of demographic, I think, that isn't really representative of the average demographic. Anyone can get baby trapped and anyone can, you know, poke hole in a condom or something like that. So, I, I don't know, fam, if you are that worried, you can take precautions yourself to do it. Um, so, so that's something to keep in mind, I suppose. Stay safe out there. She looks like man. Uh, she looks like man, not like a man, just man. <laughs> okay. I mean, no. <laughs> What are you- what are you talking about? Body types men like. Look at this, we have girls here being skinny, we have hourglass, we have fit athletic, we have every body type in the book. Body types women like. A model picture or bags of cash. <laughs> I know like anecdotal evidence and all that kind of stuff, but have you- have you just looked at people walking holding hands on the street? You know, have you- have you ever d thought about that? Looking outside? No? That's... okay. I might be on- this just falls under, like, made-up stats, I would say. This is just <laughs> made-up stats. Also, it also falls under... where did I put it? I made this up to me mad about. I mean, if you want to go into the territory of, like, looks matter, for example, that conventionally attractive people have more luck on dating apps, and looks matter in life in general with how people treat you and that kind of thing, yeah, that is absolutely true. But if you just look out in the world, most people aren't chasing, like, you know, the model on the billboard and that kind of stuff. And that goes for both men and women. Most people are looking for a life partner. You know, it's uh, reality when it comes to serious relationships. It's a little bit different, I think, than what it comes to what gets, you know, likes on social media, for example. They're not completely unrelated, but they are disconnected in certain aspects in reality. And all you have to do to see this is just go down a normal street and look at all the people holding hands. Like, uh, it's, it's fine. You don't have to have, you know, that bottom thing to find a partner. You don't have to have a bajillion pack and a bajillion dollars, you know? It's, it's a weird caricature. Submissive Christian Tradwife. That is one hell of an account name. Patriarchy is a good deal for women. You mean all I have to do is clean the house and have naughties with my husband, and he will go to work and pay all the bills? <laughs> Sign me up! The thing is, though, you can still do that, as long as you found the partner who's down with it and you can survive on one salary in today's economic climate. <laughs> what would actually happen back in the day is that you wouldn't have the choice to leave. You wouldn't be able to open your own bank account or anything. So, like, your freedom to choose is still there and you can still choose this lifestyle if your partner agrees on that. 
that is the difference. I think the problem with idealizing that past is, of course, the many times where you would land in a position where you're not in control of your own life. What happens if your relationship turns out to be miserable? Well, you can't really leave and you don't really have the right to be completely independent. That's a really nasty situation to get stuck in. So, you know, I, I don't think you have lost this you're asking for. You just need to find a partner that is like, <laughs> okay with paying for you, I guess. Good luck. Would domestic violence rate drop if men were allowed the option to physically discipline wife? Would there be less reports of illegal murder if murder was made legal? I mean, yeah, that doesn't mean that people would, you know, murder less. They would probably murder more. Not an ass whoop and just a little lighter. Jesus Christ, what is they're trying to justify it? I have seen this in Africa. The option is there, but rarely happens because women are super respectful as a result. Oh my... God, I wonder if this is also came okay places like China slash Japan. Oh, this is like a literal walking fedora. I know they are not so strict about it as long as it's not extreme. Would this be a better option than a guy taking the to the point he actually badly hurts? Okay, okay, I'm gonna be honest. If you made this stuff legit legal, that would absolutely be the case in so many instances. You know, people are scared enough to speak out about this kind of stuff to begin with. But if you also make it a point that the system is not gonna support you, there is nothing stopping that partner from doing it. The fact that you feel the need to be like a controlling, violent force over your partner, and they have to do what you say, or else you're going to hurt them. Oh my god, you should probably never have a partner. Oh my god, the fact that you wrote this publicly and feel like this is a reasonable thing to, to consider is, is absolutely bonkers. This sucks. I hate being a man in today's society. Most women make me die inside a little more with every interaction. What the frick are y'all doing? Who is more desirable here? A man to a woman or a woman to a man? You birches pretend to be unobtainable, then you reach your 30s and all your privilege of being chased by young, dumb, adolescent boys is over. And you're alone because you don't respect real men or virtues? Oh frick, you burn in hell, C-words. Looking for a long-term relationship. Okay. Okay, I could see why uh, you would you would have difficulty attracting genuine partners with uh, with this kind of opening bio on a dating profile. Holy shit. Dating can be difficult in general. I remember back in the day when I was on dating apps and stuff and my experience was meh. I had a few decent experiences, don't get me wrong, but like the vast majority was either exhausting or kind of weird. And I don't even think I was like a prime target for things that are weird, so to say, on dating apps. But it was people that hadn't moved on yet. It was like awkward dates. It was people that were borderline catfishing. It was people that started like picking arguments if you weren't texting enough, even though you hadn't even met up yet. You know, it was it was a wide array of experience of just like, nah. So having a difficult time with dating and dating apps is probably a pretty universal experience uh, for different reasons for different people, I think. But uh, writing this in your bio is certainly not a solution. Before wedding and married. Look at that. They both let themselves go, I guess. And the man's legs got hairier. That's that's apparently something that happens after being married. <laughs> what? If she go pee after y'all do the deed, just focus on yourself, player. Slow. If she doesn't pee, she gonna have an HD in my... Oh, oh, I felt this in my dyslexia. Oh, one of my worst fears is becoming a beta provider. How can I make sure I don't become one? Here is work and paycheck and dating, child support and government goes to winner. Well, I suppose the first thing is to, like, use protection, I suppose, is pretty reasonable. And dating shouldn't be that pricey. I mean, treat your partner to things, and that goes both ways, I believe, if you're getting more serious. But dating in itself as, like, first dates and, like, probing interests and that kind of stuff, I think sometimes people make the mistake that it has to be something super expensive and super fancy. And I don't believe this is the way to do it. All the times I dated in the past, it was always quite affordable. It was like grabbing a coffee or, or grabbing food at a lunch place or something like that. It was very affordable options. I think I've had very few first dates in my life that were more expensive than 50 bucks. And I think that if you get pressured by people who want something super pricey to like 
prove yourself on the first date, that might not be what you're looking for either. I know that would probably kill my interest because I love spoiling my partner, so to say, with surprises or presents or whatever it is. But the key is that they're not my partner yet. I don't even know if I'm interested in this person. I'm not going to treat a stranger to something really expensive if I don't even know they will be appreciative of it or if I even like them. You know, that that's not something that you owe strangers. So that is something with regards to dating. I see people complain about sometimes and it's just do things that are fun but affordable. It can be grabbing a coffee. It can be going and checking out a cool place or a park or a museum or, or whatever it is. There are plenty of options that you can do for a date and activities that aren't pricey. And in terms of child support, use a condom, for God's sake. If a kitty got hair, she faithful. It's the bald ones that be cheating. Grass don't grow on a busy street. Or, you know, you know, it's so... <laughs> you, can, you can just shave. You know, that's, that's the thing. People can choose what to do with their body hair <laughs> if you think it's a massive indicator of anything. I don't know, man. That's pretty wild. Oh my god, I have something on the bigger for this. This is a bad analogy. You know what women's privates are like? Busy streets that people walk on, baby. Hell yeah. And if the grass doesn't grow, doesn't mean that they're just like prefer a certain way of grooming their body hair. It's because, because of walking, which also is a wild insinuation. Yikes, dude. Speaking for all men when I say we actually love this a hundred. <gasps> it's this one again, the little dress lump, but this time it's actually wholesome. Hell yeah. It's a womb. When they mature, it sticks out a little. I can assure you it's not a womb. But at least the first one is, is wholesome, right? So this is kind of a two for one, right? I would say the first one is very wholesome. It's like, hell yeah, body positive, booyah, actually wholesome means a bingo. We have a man wrote this, down bad, emoji, odd trad stuff, and actually wholesome. And the second one, I would just say is bad anatomy. <laughs> Just an observation, but many young women cut their hair around college to change their look. These women can still salvage their appeal because they still often grow it back out. Once a woman hits about 30, if they cut it, it's usually not coming back. It's heartbreaking. Women's hair stop growing when they're 30. <laughs> <laughs> this is a bad anatomy. I don't know where you got this from, man. I think the source is just your butt. And believe me when I say most of the things coming out of your butt are just poo-poo. Oh no, it's the same thread again. I hate being a girl pooping and peeing from the same whole friggin' sun. <laughs> Do I have like a satire? No, I don't. I'm just gonna put it on bad anatomy for good measure. <laughs> oh my god. Leave it all to at Miranda Cosgrove to rock the hashtag KCA orange carpet. Look at that. She was hot as a child. Ah! Oh, I'm also going to say this kind of goes into the wall, right? You hit the wall when you're 15, according to anime profile picture, which means we have a dumbbell bingo. Isn't that wholesome? And that was actually the last post for today's bingo. We had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bingos, I believe. I think it's eight. Wow, that's so good. That is so good. It's only friend zoning and pickup artistry that we didn't have. Oh my god, this was kind of a doozy, wasn't it? Heck yeah, what a beautiful bingo card. Thank you all so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed having you here today. Have an amazing rest of the day because you do deserve it, and I will see you in the very next video. Take care. Mwah.